hand and would probably <laughs> like to the whole time. formally propose it. I, I know what the proposal is, and I think it'll be very quick. Um, uh, are, does anyone ob object to hearing this proposal before we close? It has nothing to do with what we've been talking about the last two hours. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Thank God. Dear baby Jesus. <laughs> Um, thank you for hearing me. I've been waiting to do this literally the entire night. Um, we never officially endorse Occupy the Dream, which happens tomorrow. And that needs, I really think that needs to happen. So I'm asking, so if anyone... What is it? Uh, that is the black churches community in America to start standing in solidarity with the Occupy movement by starting a Federal Reserve, starting with a Federal Reserve protest tomorrow on Martin Luther King Day is being Richmond. That is ludicrously important and that we be out there in force assisting them, in my opinion. Can we address it? No. Almost. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, are there any? Please, uh, please. We're about all ready to go and we're all about done. Um, are there any more questions clarifying to this proposal? None. Yes. What time does it start? 10 a.m. Great. Now. At the Federal Reserve. 10 a.m. at the Federal Reserve. Now. Point, Point of information. Point of information. Point of information. Um, it, any of you interested in doing uh, the Virginia Assembly, I would encourage you to do Occupy the Dream instead for tomorrow. Um, and the protest for outside the General Assembly will resume tomorrow oh, on Tuesday. It's closed. No, sir. All right. Um, I'd like to ask if we can move to a vote. Uh, all in favor of endorsing this? Vince? Jonathan's proposal? Uh, all opposed? Yeah. We have one dissenting voice. Um, would, hmm? Sorry, stand asides. All stand asides. We have one stand aside. Um, I was scratching my head. It passes. I believe it's long. I, I don't know if it's uh, in process to hear from the dissenting voice or not. I just time tracked with him. He, yes. He, I just time tracked him. He can speak for himself. He doesn't feel a need to deal with that at this point. Okay. All right. Um, moving along. Uh, there was a motion to adjourn. However, the person who has proposals, um, who has re-entered the room, uh, we have an option to hear more formal proposals or to adjourn. I would ask if we could refer to the person with the proposals if she is still like to make her proposals. I think I can get one done in less than two minutes and the other one done in less than five. How are you feeling about that? Is anyone opposed? Okay. Um, Bentley, would you please um, present your formal proposal? Yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, so take down the corporations is February 29th. Occupy Richmond is occupying corporate meetings. This proposal is to also get on the national call list for the cities who have already put out the national call for Occupy, take down the corporations. Uh, basically, I'm just asking for GA's consent to get on that national call list. Um, outreach has been interactive on a national coordination network support group and that is where I'm getting most of this information as to dates that are going to be coming up that are national calls. And, you know, if we want to be a part of that, then that's the So, Would you... Um, well, should I read you back what I have? Not, yeah. <coughs> uh, sorry. May sorry. we consent to, to, for Occupy Richmond to get on the national call list with other occupied cities like LA, Boston, Portland, who've already been on the list for Take Down Corporations, the event on February 29th. Um, 
Um, all, all in, sorry, I, I see people in favor. If we do open the floor to clarifying questions before moving to a vote. Yes? Um, I'm not familiar with takedown corporations. Is, is that like a personhood, removing personhood? Takedown Corporations uh, was a national call for Occupy Portland to dismantle corporate personhood along with many other things. Okay. Uh, I think that would take a really long time to address the full extent of it. That's fine. That's Earlier fine. I made an announcement on what the call, the conference call was, was addressing. But then, I'm sorry. Thank you. Rich, do you still have a question? Um, no. Are there any more clarifying questions towards this proposal? Are we ready to take a vote? All in favor? Yay? Stand asides. I see one, two, two stand asides. All opposed? I see one opposed. I uh, believe the proposal passes. Okay, so the second event, um, Jason from Occupy the Hood was going to be here to make the proposal with me, but since he's not, I'll still go ahead and read it. If we want to table it, that's fine. I can take it to the next GA. But basically, we're putting an event together for Valentine's. Um, it'll be the weekend before or the weekend after Valentine's, because Valentine's is in, during the middle of the week. Um, the event will be in the name of love. Obviously, uh, we'll have spoken word, rap, hip hop, comedy, open mic, soapbox, free speech, whatever. Um, there are four, four locations in mind. We've got the Q Club, Holland Cafe, the Nile, or Moe's stage, which is in Southside. Uh, that's not really important right now. The proposal is just for media purposes only to endorse the event so that we can use the social media outlet that we have that we're Are there any clarifying questions? Are there any objections to hearing this comment? Okay, well, um, I think Occupy the Dream has been established. I mean, excuse me, Occupy the Hood has been established thus far. This should be their event. They should cover it on themselves. We shouldn't be having to. They shouldn't have to use our media and our our uh, our, our infrastructure to get out their events. We can. This will be Occupy Richmond with Occupy the Hood. Okay. We, we have a point of information from Kat. It's okay. I believe we've already endorsed Occupy the Hood officially, so I'm, I'm not sure we really need to consent to endorse their, their events that we're holding with them, uh, or even consent to hold events with them, because we've already consent to endorse them, and they endorse us. We're essentially sure. sibling organizations. We can use each other's media. I was under the impression that every media-related okay. activity event has to go through GA. All right, my mistake. It's okay. I'm I'm very confused myself, and I would rather not do this. But all right, we have a, another clarifying question. Okay, so is this? Will? So is this? Is if this is is it, if this is an Occupy the Hood event or an Occupy Richmond event officially as of now? I, I, I believe that it was both. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, it, is this a question or this information? Is a um, um. It's a motion to adjourn. All right. Or, or sorry, motion to table, then a motion to adjourn. A motion. Uh, um, I. At this point, I'm not even sure what process. I don't understand <laughs> oh. um, exactly what you're. Okay. Um, yeah, I apologize. I'm out of process, and I know it. But I don't know how to articulate through process this. I'd like to first motion to table this one so that I can research it further. And, and then second, I'd like to motion for our GA to uh, be closed for the evening. Okay. All right. Um, we have a clarifying question from Sir, and I will address that. Uh, Bill, this is a joint effort between Occupy Richmond and Occupy the Hood, correct? The Outreach Education Work Group <coughs> right. has, yes. And you just asked my second question, so Education Outreach, along with Occupy the Hood, has come up with a really nice
organized event, which entails spoken word, uh, free speech. Uh, what else did you say? Uh, comedy, open mic. Okay. So this is like a really inter uh, entertainment type of piece. Yes, it's to invite people to come to our events and be attractive instead of inviting them to GAs, where we're not. <laughs> <laughs> It's my understanding um, that facilitation team normally tables proposals after much and much and much discussion. Uh, you know, a lot, sorry, a lot and a lot and a lot of discussion. Um, uh, I, I, I'm sorry, I really don't know what to do here. It's been, you know, it's been about five hours and I'm actually can't, like, not, I can't think straight right now. The motion is yeah, see, I'm very confused as somebody who's on the facilitation team if we have something in that, that this G has ever consensed upon that it's, things can be motioned like that to table where two people could make the decision of the entire group. Uh, there's a point of information. Uh, the, the, the rule of thumb that most parliamentary procedure uh, relies on is one proposal on the floor at the time. Okay. If you want to make a, a proposal, you have to table that other proposal that's on the floor. Okay, so something's on the, the motion floor. to table, then the motion to. Right. Okay, and I believe my motion to table was second. Right. Second. Um, Harry was motioning to table the proposal. Um, I I heard a second, but I would like to reiterate that I don't understand um, if we have something in place or our process where two people can decide what to do with the proposer. I believe that goes back to the proposer. No. No. We mic check. Oh, we could have or the temp check. Or the more. Already. Temp check. Who'd like to table the proposal? Anybody against tabling the proposal? So there's at least five or six people against tabling this. Right. Who would like to move to a vote? Okay, pretty much everyone. Um, anyone opposed to moving to a vote on this? Great, not sure where the confusion was all along. Um, <laughs> so, all in favor of this proposal? All stand aside. We have one stand aside and all opposed. We have one opposed. The proposal passes. Thank you. Thank you, Barry. Uh, thank you all. Um, there was a. Who would like to say it? Mike Jack. Mike Jack. Anybody who can help tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock to ornament Canal Plaza from the Occupy the Dream event with prayer flags, please be there. 8 o'clock Canal, I need these two people. I've got one promise. Promises, promises. Yeah, I'll call you. <laughs>